All right. If that reminds you guys of anything from a couple weeks ago, you should be thinking about that Roush F-350 that came in. My Pathfinder recovery dropped off. They brought us in another one. This time it's a 250 with the high output. It's black, not blue. Got the diamond stitching. Double moon roof. All the Roush badges around. What's interesting is that GVW, if it's a 350 Roush and it had four leaf springs, or it's a 250 that had two leaf springs, they both have. So I'm assuming it's because of the tires. But if you look at the gross real weight rating, they're 10,000 for both of them. Makes no sense. Tio, frame All reinforcements right. looking good. How's it coming yes, along? Sir, we got another masterpiece ready to go. It's gonna be another satisfied customer guaranteed. The reinforcement is really reinforced. What I got left about, mm, I had this done tomorrow. Tank in, everything ready for the herp to be dropped and ready to put another smile on another customer's face. This is what we do here. MTO laying down the dimes on Pathfinder Recovery's F-250 frame reinforcement. And this is his second one. That's going to tell you what we're doing around here. When you get one plate of food and you go get another plate, we know the food is good, you know? It's the same thing with the product. Everything is great, in and out. This is the frame reinforcement. I'm about to drop the tank in here. I'm going to sit it over there, drop this herc in here. And it's strong as ever. Ready for work, get money and everything else. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright, what's going on guys? Uh, back on the vlog, we got a Roush uh, F-250 Black 23. Uh, we're putting the little Hercules 2.0 in the back. Pathfinder's uh, second truck with us within a month. Yeah, their second one. Um, right now, I am trying to fit the little Herc in the frame, um, but we have an exhaust clearance problem. I want the differential to be about an inch and a quarter to an inch off. So I have to recut the exhaust here so I can pull the unit back and get it into the uh, location we want it to be. Then we can weld it up, bolt it up. Let's get this off and uh, we'll be back.
now that we got the exhaust cut, we got the unit pushed back, I got my scale here on the diff cover. We are exactly one inch away from the stinger cylinder block now, which is the perfect measurement for our little Hercules 2.0. Uh, we are trying to tuck the unit under the truck as far as possible without hitting the rear end. So now we're going to do a couple measurements side to side and uh, start welding this thing in. F250, we are getting the uh, winch wires right now, getting the connectors on those, and is going to be running this up into the toolbox area. And then after we get this up there, we're going to get our hoses up, uh, hook up our hoses, and our winch power. Uh, this powers our winch. We're going to get that up in there. And then she'll be ready for the spring shot. Alright, just gotta bolt that up, subside some wires, and it's off for the spring shot. Right now, Johnny is finishing the undercoat. We have our custom helper pads welded in. Now all that's left after this is putting the crossbar on. PTA Rye, thanks for coming again, man. Good job, man. This guy has the best channel. It's helped us many times, and uh, because he's local, uh, he had no problem coming here and helping us with a def issue. Evidently, if you unplug the def, which we do, the tank, and you turn the car on, it's going to throw this engine error code since 2023. We've done this throughout the whole time. Now, all of a sudden, it's a problem for 2023 20, trucks and after, and... Uh, Thank goodness you're part of the team and we can't thank you enough for coming down and showing us how to do this. So no you've agreed to put it on our channel and you said you're going to put it on yours. So. Absolutely. I think it's a, an important thing because there's a lot of companies like yourself that are turning Super Duties into garbage trucks or tow trucks or ambulances or whatever. Any commercial vehicle you see go down the road is, is, is a Super Duty. And uh, sometimes things happen or, hey, I got to roll this window. Oh, I didn't. The tank. And you get into a situation like this. So exactly what happened with us. Ford has a, uh, a bunch of uh, procedures they call drive cycles. And what happens is you... I'm going to make this very easy for you guys to uh, paint a picture in your head. You have to do this, 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 <laughs> this, and this. All at the same time and simultaneously while you drive the truck to get this out of uh, reduced power mode. It's a pain in the butt, but sometimes uh, you can't complete it. You gotta let the vehicle go into a cold soak, And but I don't think we've started up so where it's been driven or hot or anything, right? Nope, uh, it does say uh, 49 miles till, you know, uh, reduced power. So, okay. of course, when I seen that, I'm like, we just went through this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
Yeah, man, again, thank you, because yeah. one of the things that we pride ourselves on is when the customers come, they don't have a check engine light on, so we don't want that um, to happen. So we will have all the codes cleared and everything good to go for the customer when they pick up the truck. Because we got guys like this man right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. We have a question we need to answer here. So what message are we getting? Okay, def fault speed limited to 50 miles an hour. All right, so we go here. Def fault speed limited to X miles an hour in X miles. This is what we need to do. We need to do the DEF fault speed limited procedure. So it's got a couple of things we need to do. We need to now run the vehicle until EGT 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 4 are greater than 437 degrees. We need to then shut the truck off for two minutes, restart the engine, and then it says the dosing injection will begin and may continue up for five minutes. Monitor the reductant injector duty cycle PID, which we can't because you guys clearly saw that that PID could not be selected. Um, and then once it starts that, we're just gonna sit here for a few minutes uh, and then it wants us to carry out five acceleration events from zero to 15 miles an hour five acceleration events from zero to 15, bring the vehicle to a stop. Idle the transmission in park for a minimum of 30 minutes. What you're doing here, you may think this is hard, but it's even worse for other brands and I think even for semi trucks as well. So um, bear with us, we're gonna get this thing outside and start this silly procedure. All right, we're gonna have to drive this thing. Feels way different. <laughs> Holy hell, that's a good size speed bump. Yeah, babe. Yeah, this thing is not bouncy at all. 359, we need more temp, we need more temp. All right, we're gonna do a good acceleration here. So we're putting extra grease on this right here, just so it's a little easier to stall the crossbar. So this is gonna make it, the bearing kind of stay up in that groove while we are uh, loading the head into the cross. Voila! <laughs> Look at that. Easy peasy.
grinder, yep. and you're killing the game for him. Yep. And you told him, I, I wanted to get something. I wanted to do something. I, I needed something discreet. Right. Because I'm tired of being in the brick, and I'm tired of being noticed. You know, when when you're in the when you're in the repo industry, they already know when they see a tow truck coming down. Right. So you in, need something that's going to throw, yeah, throw them off. Why is it that you wanted the little hurt so bad? I, I wanted comfortability. Um, stay out longer. You know, in in a truck. Oh, because of the comfort. Quiet, of it. quietness. You know, not hearing everything going on. You know, I, I've had a little hurt previously, so I already knew what I wanted. Sure. At the time, so you know, I kept on and kept on. Telling him like, yo, I need this, I need this. And he finally got it for himself, tried it out. It's been only a month, maybe a month and a week that he had his truck and he went out and got mine. Right. You know, um He wouldn't give it back. He don't even want to go back in the in the record. Like he's all set with that. He was just in a record yesterday. He said well, to my knowledge, that truck was for you. Yeah, that truck and he was said, Sorry man, I'm just gonna buy you another one. So mm -hmm. now we're just gonna get two units. Because mm -hmm. he loved what you the, wanted the, to the build feeling so bad. And, yeah. You know what I mean? The the comfortability of him being able to do stuff for work and do stuff with his family. Yeah, and that's you the know. first thing that he said. He got in it, he drove around the block and he thought, I'm going to be able to get 30, 40 more cars a yeah. week now yeah. for the company. I'm getting ready to bump up to about 40 cars a week, I promise you. Jay's going to let you know. <laughs> like, yo, I'm in a pickup truck. I can do 20 hours again. Yeah. You know? I mean, right now, if I'm doing 10, a car, 10 cars a day, I'm gonna be boosting up to 20. Sure. You know, especially without them knowing what I'm looking for, you know what I mean? Where did you first find Detroit Wrecker? Why did you want a Detroit Wrecker? Uh, Detroit Wrecker, mm, when I worked for Recovery Zone, Keith, he ordered three units, or I wanna say four. And from there, that's when I was like, okay, I need one. Cause we first started with a shift. Sure. I mean, you know, that was when they when they first started. You know, it's not the same. This is way different. Right. Way better. Way comfortable. Um, back then, you didn't have the Fox shocks that right. you have now. Correct. So I drove Corys, and yeah. it was a way different ride from the way you used to have it. What a big and that's really what I want to convey to people is there's such a huge difference now in the ride comfort. I mean, we figured it out. You way know, I'm different. embarrassed to say that for years we didn't, but now, again. It was better now than never, you know? Yeah. I mean, if you ain't got one, I don't know what you're doing. Get out the brick and... Because no, that's what it is, right? I mean, you really are driving in something that's essentially a lot uh, tougher on you, a yeah. gut-busting ride. Yeah. You know, you're going to get and, out And it's it. cheaper, you know what I mean? You, than a record. You, you buy a truck and you're spending less money doing this than going out there and getting banged over the head for these truck prices now. I'm excited. I can't wait. I, I want to go get the car tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. get back. You guys are trying to find some on the way home. Hope I just told her I'm going to go to Ohio and go get one. Yeah. And she said, no, 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 we're going home. But it's no, it's going to be a good trip. And I, I'm, again, I really can't thank you enough because let's be honest, your company has now purchased two units only because you were insistent on it. I mean, mm -hmm. how long were you asking the boss, man? For Two years, and he was against it. And he <laughs> don't have no problem saying he was against it. I mean, honestly, how much different is it than the first trucks that you bought? You were in the 2.0 trucks yeah. with the other company, and those were the Ranchero shocks, and now these are the Fox shocks. And it, is, is it kind of better? Is it 10% better? Is it 50% well, better? I think it I is think it 150% better, you know? No, and that's, brother, and that's where I can't thank you enough. No. You're, you're the reason why the company is, and thank you. And it, clearly it's because you're killing the game. You're not somebody that's doing a couple cars a night. I mean, yeah, you're no. out there hustling. I'm, I'm, I'm a hustler, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm definitely a hustler. And well, it's I'm an honor. Now. It's an honor to have, you know, again, a man of your caliber that's out there killing the game, you know, the boss went out and bought two trucks basically because you said, you mm -hmm. know, so Thank we you. appreciate you and so does every employee here. Uh -huh. yeah, it's a bit tight. Yeah. Right. And that's how tight you, you know, yeah. You, what you really don't want is for this to pull that sideways. Yep. And again, if it does, and you, you got this way too loose. Exactly. Yep. It can be this tight. That's fine. The surface contact. Yeah, I'm actually going pivot. Friday to go buy the impact guns. Sure. And do what it three do. quarter Allen head or 19 mil will fit. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'd get an impact gun and maybe even a, you know a long three foot breaker so you can really just give it that last umph. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that because all it's doing is seating 
bearing and all the the wear is going to be in the race and it's going to be years before you get a hundred it. yeah and then somebody could buy a new race but i betcha that's 30 years later mm -hmm. you know we, again we had Except somebody out there just for different things not for, this for a year thing. using the truck 10 to 15 mm -hmm. times a day for towing you know so he was working it and again never tightened it never greased it and we took everything apart and it looked brand new still very excited for the longevity of this application and to, to make sure that guys like you that are hard working have a quality piece of equipment that can continue to do so, mm -hmm. so you can feed your fam, you know? <laughs> but yes, sir, I appreciate you more, man. I appreciate you, yeah, man. Yeah, you're amazing. And if we can, we get another one. Listen, uh, I'm just thankful you guys are out there letting other people know. Word of mouth is tremendous for us, you know? So that's. That's what we need. Yeah, and I try to that. tell people, like, you know what I mean? You can lead a horse to the water, you can't make him drink. I'm tired of arguing with people on Facebook, too. Don't, don't, knock, it, don't knock it till you try it, you know what I mean? If you ain't doing it, let, let, it. Let me ask you one more question. I tell a lot of people that you can't gross a couple hundred thousand dollars with their equipment and not have to put tens of thousands of dollars into it. Is that the truth? Yeah, I mean, listen, if they want to continue to give them the money, and keep replacing their trucks and their hoses and all this and all that. Listen, that's all no. Right. Come out to the Detroit record, get yourself a little hurt, and you won't be having to do that no more. But until then, keep giving the other companies all that all that money. Yeah. I know what it is. <laughs> Still feels good. One guy said, he's like, I'd rather be in this than my bags. Hell yeah. Right. Now, if you look over to the left, you'll see some big holes. See some, uh, yeah, all in this lane. There's, look at this big sucker here. Hit it. Wow. I mean, what was wow. that? Dude, that was a big hole. Do you want to come loop back around? Sure, so he can get good. There's the one right there. Look, Zach. Yeah. Wow. How soft is that? Yeah, that's wild. Huh? That's wild. Don't Anywhere you want. Anything. Now. I just wanted you to see, you know what I mean? And I knew you drove it, so you you already kind of knew. Yeah. It. But. Nah, but it's a way difference from back then to now. Way different. That, so now, again, that, that doesn't even bother your back, you know? Nope. If you don't have a little herc, you're in the wrong side of the town. You're wasting time? Yeah, wasting time and money. Um, you know, I was chasing back then in a truck like this. Sure. Say the GMCs, the Chevys, you know, wasn't as comfortable as this, but, you know, that's where we started at. You know, I mean, I hate being in an uncomfortable truck. That's a brick. All you hear is noise rattling, everything, the boom shaking like this. Right. You're tired of hearing that, you know? You mm. want to be in a truck, you want to be longer in the truck. Look at this. You're staying longer. Comfortability. Make more money. Hey, if you don't got one, get one. Damn, it feels amazing. Again, thank you for promoting us and always helping no to, you know, spread the good word. You know, it's the truth comes out eventually, so I know everyone's gonna see it. But they're gonna jump on it soon enough. You know, they just probably contemplating, trying to see. And I get it. How many? Who who does the build? How they come out? I mean, yeah. Stay tuned. You're not gonna fake the funk if it's. I a mean, problem. it's been how long to get you with Corey? Yeah, two years. Two years. So, so, and thank you, Corey. <laughs> we yes, appreciate sir. you. Thank you, Jay. Not a problem. Thank you. God bless. Appreciate you Have guys. a safe trip home. Yes, sir. The yeah. best part about this is when you're driving down the street and you're putting the boom out and opening the stinger, you don't got to worry about pressing on the gas too hard because the PTO. It's the best part. You can't drive with that clutch on. Mm -hmm. oh, the mistress. But you know why? So if I'm not with the wife, I'm with the mystery. Right. Right.
how it goes. <laughs> hey, but she don't mind this mistress. She makes it. Make it money. You ain't lying. Hundred percent. All right, Reaper Jay's hopping in to take home the mistress. That's what he calls his uh, hefty effect with his little herd. Because if he's not with the wife, he's with the mistress. Clever name. He's going to go make some money. He's going to kill the game. We're excited to see it. Safe travels. Thank you guys again.